CPW faithful commissioner Brent Fleener here with you, completely fed up with the quarantine. So ladies and gentlemen, we're taking her on the road. And joining me, you will see his likeness. Thank goodness he is not with me at the bottom of your screen. The one, the only, thank God, because the world couldn't handle another. The Mid-Atlantic moneymaker himself, Ronnie DeVault Jr. Ronnie, I see COVID-19 hasn't knocked, uh, hasn't raised its ugly head and knocked on your door yet. What are you trying to say, Flanner? I, I, I think I look good. I mean, I look a little rough. You know, the barber's <laughs> well, closed and... But I think I look good, like always. It's almost like that Batman movie, the very first Batman with Michael Keaton, where everybody had to forego using uh, hygiene, hygiene products because for fear that uh, it had the uh, the uh, Joker's poisoning in it. We all look like we haven't shaved or showered for a month. <laughs> yeah, my, my barber's kind of closed. But let me ask you a question. How'd you like the gift I got you? Oh, let me tell you, uh, that is still a uh just my daughters are enamored with it uh the, you know everyone on facebook social media has made comment upon comment uh you know will will you let your new son-in-law carve the turkey at thanksgiving and uh i certainly appreciate you uh ronnie for if nothing else making my life a veritable hell no problem but i'm here for you you know if covid 19 doesn't get you i will so here we are, as I said, we have taken it on the road. We can't be together because of COVID-19 uh, government, uh, well, not necessarily regulations, but certainly the urgings of people not to gather. And folks, in our pursuit of uh, our continued pursuit of excellence here at Classic Pro Wrestling, we have decided to bring to you the wrestling public what has become Dave Holt if nothing else. It is an instant classic for sure, but we'll rewind the clock and take the folks back to to our zero hour one uh, broadcast live from the furnace in Aylett, Virginia. And like I said, what has become an instant classic? I, I, I can't go anywhere that people don't you know, who were in attendance have seen that match, have some sort of uh, colorful comment about it. Of course they would have a colorful comment about it. I was involved. Anytime I'm involved, that's money right there. Oh, certainly. I would say you were involved. Your laundry was don't, involved. Don't you start. <laughs> anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, we take you back now to Zero Hour One, where it will be Triple Fears, Kevin Mears, one of the most tenacious, one of the most hungry uh, young talents on the CPW roster versus your man, Dave Alt, Mikey Banker. Had never lost a match uh, in his uh, very tumultuous young CPW career, but there was a stipulation. Mind sharing with the folks, Dave Alt? Yeah, but first let me correct you because you, th you think it's funny. He's never won a match, and that's exactly why you put him in the match with Kevin Mears, <laughs> and that's exactly why you added that if he lost, which most people thought he would, that Kevin Mears got five minutes in the ring with so, yours truly. So we waste no more time, ladies and gentlemen, as we now join the CPW Classic, Triple Fears, Kevin Mears versus the Young Lion, Mikey Banker. Ladies and gentlemen, formalities out of the way here. Brian Allen now ushering me out of the ring. Mikey Banker, after telling me he wanted my daughter's number, has hugged me, and off we go. And what we will soon see might resemble a wrestling contest, but ends up being, moreover, a street fight in the end, as it is. To, uh, for the, for the uh, sake of uh, repetitiveness, it will be the young Mikey Baker taking on Triple Fears, Kevin Mears, and Dave Hall. What, what If you're Mikey Baker, what must you do? What in your mind has to be in place? Collar and elbow tie-up now. Oh, my goodness. Proven his strength already is Mears. Backing Banker into the near corner here and then unceremoniously monkey flipping him almost halfway across the ring. You're Mikey Banker, Dave Holt. 
in your mind, what must you do to win this matchup tonight? You have to play mind games with a guy like Kevin Ear Kevin Mears. You have to make sure that you get inside his head. Because if you get inside his head, if you make things personal with Kevin Mears, then guess what? You have him right there. That's exactly what I did. No question. And, of course, uh, fans chiding in on the text machine, if you will. Oh, wait a minute now. Wrenching around the waist of Mikey Banker is Mears now. And... Uh, certainly showing his amateur background uh quite seasoned indeed is mears and i mean he a front face a foot front face lock now being applied by mears banker in agonizing pain of course brian allen referee in this contest checking to make sure a chokehold has not been applied by mears on oh, a big club like forearm down the back setting him up for a suplex failing at that attempt Baker reversing it. Oh, wait a minute. Now, Baker is showing a little moxie here, Dave Vault. He almost had him. He almost had him. Look at the just complete disbelief on the face of Kevin Mears. And, of course, Triple Fear standing for the mind, the hands, the feet, all of which are deadly tools of Mears, who has proven time and time again that he most deservedly uh, belongs here. And not only that, but most deservedly uh, needs a chance to challenge for the CPW World Heavyweight Championship as commissioner. It's something I'm going to look at into in 2020. All right. Now, look, Banker calling for... Th this is a mistake. This is a, a, an absolute mistake now. Uh, Banker calling for a test of strength and already proving that it was the, the wrong avenue to, to travel down indeed. Oh, wait a minute now. Baker. Wrong avenue. Mikey's strong. Mikey is a very strong individual, though. And uh, he brings it into the show of strength with a knee to the rib cage of Mears. And now Kevin Mears tied pretzel-like by the young banker. Who, if, could, if he could pull this off, number one. Uh, you would most certainly, uh, that would be the best five minutes of your life not spent. I can tell you that. You always got a joke. This night was very important to me. Not only because it was zero hour. It was important to me too. <laughs> not only because it was zero hour, but because when I got to the building, like I always do first, I was informed by the boss, the guy higher above you, that we were the main event. Main event of the evening, zero hour one. Oh, Banker with a big splash. I mean, oh, wait a minute now. My God, what an overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex German style. Oh, my God. How that wasn't a three count, two and three quarters administered by referee Brian Allen. What a move, surprisingly. And, I mean accomplished by the young banker. Now, wait Stretch a minute here now. He needed a stretch, so I was trying to help him out. He, <laughs> okay, yeah, got a, cramp, good friends. Did he? Had he a cramp, did he? He used to be good friends, so yeah. I had to stretch him out. Had a cramp, did he? Okay, yeah. I get it. Banker now, knife edge chopped at the throat of Mears. And a wrist lock, which leads into a wrenching headlock now, and a takeover from that position is Mikey Banker. Referee Brian Allen checking closely. One of the senior in-ring officials here at CPW. And surprisingly enough, Dave Vault, Mears is having trouble trying to get out of this maneuver. All you have to do is play mind games with Kevin Mears, and you can, you can end it right there. Well, you know, mind games aside, this is just a show of strength. Mikey Banker, one of the best technical wrestlers I know. That's why I approached him about this match. Well, let me tell you, my mind is starting, or, or, or my thinking has started to change. Nice shoulder tackle now. Let me tell you, Mears is learning quite, oh, my, nice maneuver by Mears. With a nice arm drag takeover now. Oh. 
stop sign abruptly placed in the path of Mikey Banker, followed by a knife edge chop of his own from Mears. Oh my goodness. The wild, oh my. That, my brother, will rearrange a weekend as it is, oh, two and seven eighths, the count administered by Brian Allen. Let me tell you, before uh, Mears completely uh, 180 this contest, what I was saying is that Kevin Mears is finding out very quickly, I might add, that Mikey Baker, all of the hijinks, jokes, and uh, tomfoolery that he is known for, let me tell you, this young man came to this arena tonight to perform and has done so admirably to this point. Like I said, everybody loves money. And once you get paid a lot of money, you're going to do the best you can to get the job done. Mikey Banker is the modern-day Dean Malenko. So what would you have to chip off to get Banker to agree to wrestle for you tonight, Dayball? Your daughter. hundred bucks? Your daughter. Oh, for God's sakes. Here we go now. As the match ensues. Oh, wait a minute. Ho, 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 ho. Ronnie Dayvault almost escaped with his life and limb intact as it was oh now oh come on now Brian Allen that chokehold was being hidden from him most certainly and folks we do apologize if you hear outside noise we are indeed very much outside in a vehicle uh, we found no other place to bring this match up to you here tonight I'm in my vehicle I think Dave Volts and his I'm in a limo, but okay. Well, uh, is your, uh, your vehicle no, no, no limo here. No I'm sorry to say. Yes. And uh, we're broadcasting in the best form or fashion that we could here this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And we thank you for joining our CPW YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe, like our content, and if you give that little bell a knock at the bottom, it'll notify you to any every all things CPW. The match continuing here as we are reviewing the what was the main event, the culmination of a magical night of wrestling action in Aylett, Virginia, as it was the young Mikey Banker taking on Triple Fears, Kevin Mears, and the stipulation very firmly in place, ladies and gentlemen, I emphatically tell you that if Kevin Mears does in fact do what everyone in this building, with the exception of my broadcast partner, thinks, and that is win this match, he will in fact win or gain five minutes with the Mid-Atlantic moneymaker uninterrupted, unadulterated, and most certainly warranted. I was going for the stampede. I oh, my goodness. Now, wait a minute. Baker escaping that. Did, did Mears just dump him over to the apron? Or look like Baker did something to get out of that. Because, I mean, it was stampede time, ladies and gentlemen. We were almost sweeping this joint up. And wait a minute. The young Baker going now to the high rent district. And I mean paying for it in spades is Baker. Kevin Mears, these two young men now, you can tell, are both physically totally spent. We have horrible officiating. Oh, and Mears knew that wily veteranship coming through, knew where he was, placing that foot at the very last moment on that third rope, knowing where he is. And I mean, I don't know how he did because these two young men have been at it some three and a half, four minutes, Dave Alt, straight into one another's face. They haven't moved very far from the center of the ring, slugging it out. One beautiful move after another. It is truly a wrestling clinic. Would you agree with me? Oh, Mark? I totally agree. And Banker. Uh, completely at the surprise of everyone in attendance here. Irish whip, and I mean completely, deliberately into the near corner here was Banker with Mears. Mears 
wobbles out of that corner and has eaten five just closed fists from Banker and taking the other not quite so well as it drove him to the canvas. And now Mears wondering, how do I get up? Oh, and does. Wait a minute now. Oh. With the flapjack. Flapjack indeed. Certainly hope there was blueberries and chocolate chips as if there were, they would have been spilled all through the arena as he was dumped right on his face in the middle of this ring. You would have ate him. Triple fears, I die. I uh, resemble that remark. Thank you. You resemble a lot of things. Hippopotamus. <laughs> as you can see, uh, okay. Keep it up there, buddy boy. You know, checks are due on Friday. Uh, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, and now Mears has seemingly once again taken control of this contest as it is shin kick to the hamstring of the young banker and going one more time to the well, failing, but then again lands that third kick to the hamstring, resulting in Mikey Banker not being able to stand on his own for the foreseeable future. And now the single leg Boston Crab Working that, working the leg of Mikey Banker. He, he is most certainly doing so. And Dave, oh, look, Banker trying desperately to get to a set of ropes he could grab and hopefully breaking this just vice like grasp and that they, Triple Fears has, has got him locked into currently. And I mean, so what are you saying? Oh, wait a minute. What was that? Uh, you said it was the furnace. It's kind of hot in there. So I had to make sure the Captain Mears is cool. Oh, down. dear heavens. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we see the ever, oh. ever present hijinkery of Ronnie Davalt. Now, wait a minute. I'm doing my civic duty, cooling the man now. He is blinded. Oh, he's tapping. He has been blinded. And, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Mears has done. In Ronnie Davold's mind, the absolutely unthinkable, Wait, most no. atrocious. Wait, Brian Allen. Wait a minute. He elbowed him in the face. Oh, for God's sake, Brian, the man was blinded. Which means Mikey Baker got his first ever win, courtesy of the Mid-Atlantic moneymaker, Ronnie Davold. Jr. Oh, my God. This is an absolute mockery of justice a just travesty <laughs> as it is banker now hobbling to the locker room area i got something to say to kevin you got a lot to say to kevin well ladies and gentlemen i'm sure that ronnie davolt does have something to say to kevin and i'm sure that he's going to have a rebut for you a retort if you will he couldn't even get five minutes he could oh oh wait a minute can we, cut, cut, cut the footage. You're, you're in, uh, yeah, cut the footage, cut the ladies footage. and gentlemen. Oh, he fa you faked the fate. <laughs> you faked the fate and got out of the grasp of what most certainly would have been the butt kicking of your life. Because the match is over. Stipulations are out the window. He could have been in there with you. <clears throat> for five days if he wanted to. It's a breach of contract cleaner. We had a contract. Contract. Smontract. Wait. And so, ladies and gentlemen. We got to cut uh, the footage. Yeah, exactly. Cut the footage. You see, Dave Alt. Oh, gosh. You see, Dave Alt. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Looks like me and uh, the Ageless one are besties right about now, doesn't it? And, ladies and gentlemen, the... The highlight of the match. Oh, now, no, now look, now, no, Dave, no. I got to give you some credit here for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. it is the young mid-Atlantic moneymaker taking oh. a stampede. That was not. Yeah, you could count to 33 on that one. That didn't feel good at all. <laughs> why, are we, why are we even showing this? Oh, because it was the highlight of the night. The standing room only crowd. <laughs> look, Mears is like trying to pin you. 44, 45. <laughs> it was a breach of contract. He didn't win the match. He didn't deserve five minutes. Listen, 
It wasn't, you, you know what? You breached the contract, young man, when you brought out said spray bottle, contents of which are still unknown, and temporarily blinded, temporarily blinded the young Kevin Mears. Triple fears Kevin Mears. Let me tell you, were you triply scared? Oh, wait a minute, you are like, it looks like you are triply knocked out, my friend. Yeah, I might have been knocked out, but it was the furnace. I had to cool him down. You got knocked him out, brother. Yeah. Right, here we go. So Kevin Mears now. Oh, wait a minute. Dave Vault. You know what he's asking this this capacity oh, no. crowd, don't you? Oh, One more yeah. time. I, I, <laughs> oh. I hate those people in England. They're horrible. Oh, yeah. Well, they love this, boy. I tell you what. <laughs> look at Cross. Oh, wait a minute. He's See? moving out of the way. Now, look. Now, the, the, here's what's so. Here's how badly these two individuals hate you. They can't stand one another, and they don't like me particularly. Not a lot of people do, Fleener. Well, I, you know what? I, that's a subject for another time, but look at what's happening here. Dave Alt, you have managed to infuriate people so completely and utterly perfectly that they, three people who really can't stand one another's presence, are getting ready to do something priceless. My question is, where is Mikey Banker at in all this? I paid him a lot of money, and I gave him a date. And not only that, but you're, we're getting ready to save you on some dry cleaning right here. Now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> wow, this is horrible. This is, without question, a perfect ending to a perfectly just astounding night of wrestling action as, oh yeah, we got scissors from the local volunteer fire department here. That's, you know what, to use that to cut cast off, Dave. <laughs> I might need a whole body cast. <laughs> by the end of this. You are most certainly, I mean, you are worse for the wear here, brother. I guarantee you, road hard ridiculous. and put up wet ain't got nothing to do with this. this. Very ridiculous. <clears throat> this is a complete fleecing. Dave Vaughn, you can't for one moment, you can't say you didn't deserve this. You've knocked me out uh, uh, twice. Uh, let's, twice. Let's, okay, it, you knocked me out once. Was or, it proved? Did you prove? Uh, okay, prove? Uh, you the know guy what? was wearing a mask. Yeah, that you own, that's been in, in your possession on several occasions, that you go around braggadocious Oh, yeah, I don't know anything about this. Okay, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go back to the action in the ring as uh, we're doing uh, a little custom tailoring here for uh, Mr. Dayball. Oh, a little out of the waist, Mr. Dayball? No problem. No waste at all. <laughs> this wasn't funny. I don't even know why I'm here. Well, I'll tell you why I'm here. The only reason I'm here is because I'm getting paid. Because if I wasn't getting paid, then I wouldn't be here. This is horrible. I don't want to relive this. I haven't been the same since. He got paid and lost a $1,000 suit, <laughs> and you went uh, belly up probably bounced a check to, to banker. I didn't bounce a check to banker. I paid cash. Did you? Pay cash. I don't know. You might want to talk to him. He told me differently. He said, you the commissioner, man. Where's my money? Pay cash and pawned off your daughter. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know what? I don't even care about it. I'll let that one go. This is worth its weight in gold. As it is, the Mid-Atlantic moneymaker indeed... Ronnie uh, Davolt Jr. coming to. I guarantee you, your spine probably wasn't uh, feeling too swell either. Yeah, uh, what, Ronnie? Ronnie, what in the world is on the back of your underdrawers, man? Does that say I love Kevin Mears? It, no, it doesn't. There was a magician in the fire department, and it magically <laughs> appeared. I put up. He pressed and digitated. I love Kevin Mears on your drawers, man. He, he, he did. Ladies and gentlemen, and not, what are those black marks, Dave Alt? That You know what that is? That's, you know, that's run and shoot offensive, if you ask me. Yeah. What, what? Why is the boss laughing? <laughs> because of the reason we're all laughing. <laughs> it wasn't funny. It was hilarious, is what it was.
<laughs> Ronnie, you don't think for one moment that you deserved a little bit of that? I didn't deserve anything. <laughs> the contract said if Mikey Banker won, what she did, <laughs> okay. Kevin Mears would not get five minutes, but yet you allowed him to put his hands on me. Well, you allowed him to stampede me, and you and Ethan <laughs> and him and Kevin cut my thousand dollar suit up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, listen, <laughs> Ronnie. If nothing else, don't you feel good that the CPW faithful enjoyed this video? <laughs> No, I really don't. But actually, you know what? During this time, since everything that's going on, I'll give them a good laugh. But once we start going again, once we have shows again, there's going to be hell to pay for everybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you have heard the threatful warnings of one mid-Atlantic moneymaker, Ronnie Dayvault Jr. And folks, we thank you, as always, <clears throat> for spending a little of your time with us here at Classic Pro Wrestling. Uh, any parting shots, Dayvault? No. I'd no say you, uh, <laughs> looks Let's like... Let's get this over with. <laughs> I didn't even want to do this anyway. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, we thank you for joining us here at Classic Pro Wrestling YouTube channel and or Facebook.com. Please, again, uh, if you would, please subscribe to our channel and like our content and give that bell a little tug down at the bottom or a push and you'll be notified of upcoming posts or any, every, all things CPW. And folks, for the Mid-Atlantic moneymaker, Ronnie Dayvold Jr., I am Brent Fleener. Till we meet again, so long.